and welcome to Sterling Report. City Council confirmed Michael C. Taylor as Mayor of Sterling Heights at the December 2nd City Council meeting. During Mayor Nadi's illness, Mayor Pro Tem Michael Taylor served as chair at City Council meetings in his absence. Following a courageous battle with pancreatic cancer, Mayor Nadi passed away on October 28th. As the city recovers from the loss of this beloved community leader, Sterling Heights began to take its first steps in moving forward at the December 2nd City Council meeting as Council unanimously confirmed Michael C. Taylor to serve as mayor for the duration of former Mayor Nadi's unexpired term. It is my pleasure to resolve to appoint Michael Taylor to fill the vacancy in the elected office of mayor for the unexpired term of former Mayor Richard J. Nadi. Support. Mr. Taylor being in the mayor's seat is probably in the best interest to get us moving forward. I agree with my colleagues. Michael, you are the people's choice because you are mayor pro tem right now. That means the residents of Sterling Heights said, when the mayor's not available, you're our mayor. So I feel that the people would want you to take that seat. I don't expect you to be Mayor Nadi. I don't think anyone can be Mayor Nadi. But be yourself and do what's right for the residents of the city. That's all I ask. Very appropriate, in my opinion, um, to uh, elevate you to the position of mayor uh, since the people have, have spoken, so to speak. Uh, and um, I want to back up their, uh, their opinion as well. So I will definitely be in support. I, I can't say enough how humbled and proud I am to be part of this uh, city to be part of the city council. Uh, I know I have a legacy um, uh, There was a legacy left by by Mayor Nadi that um, I'm not going to try to match. I'm not going to try to to um, uh, To fill his shoes. I can only do uh, I can only be my own person and, and I'm going to be that um, Taylor will be sworn in as the city's new mayor at the December 16th City Council meeting leaving a vacant seat on council the city clerk's office will be accepting letters of interest and resumes from residents interested in being considered to fill the unexpired term ending on November 3rd, 2015. They would have to file a letter of interest uh, with the city clerk's office along with the resume and then at the uh, December 16th city council meeting they will be afforded an opportunity to make a three minute presentation to city council. During that presentation they should state their qualifications. Uh, their interest, and also their vision for the city. For complete details on the vacancy, visit the city's official website at sterling-heights.net and click on the Jobs tab. There you will find the information available by selecting City Council Vacancy in the right-hand corner. The December 16th City Council meeting will be broadcast live on SHTV beginning at 7.30 p.m. and will be rebroadcast throughout the week. Moving on, the Sterling Heights Regional Chamber of Commerce and Industry welcomes the last month of 2014 with several new businesses opening in the community. Zounds Hearing Aids officially opened up its doors in Sterling Heights on December 2nd. On the count of three, let's cut the ribbon. One, two, three. three. At the Zounds Ribbon Cutting, Linda Colton, Community and Professional Relationships Manager for the Chamber, spoke about welcoming another new business into Sterling Heights. So exciting that as we end our 2014 year and look into 2015, there are so many more businesses moving right into the community of Sterling Heights. Here, Zounds along Van Dyke, a great new establishment, opening up a second location, coming to Sterling Heights, and we see the strip center that they are in rebuilding and replacing and it's all a good thing for Sterling Heights so uh, the chamber is very excited to have a new business member with us. Located at the Country Inn Plaza on the east side of Van Dyke north of 15 Mile, Zounds offers rechargeable hearing aids that utilize the latest technology at affordable prices. Zounds is set up for customers to be able to walk out with improved hearing after only a brief visit it's very unique in the industry because people can walk in and walk out with hearing aids customized to their particular hearing loss in one day. 
Tammy went on to explain how rewarding it is to be in a business where customers are offered an immediate improvement to their quality of life. Uh, we're just happy to be in, in the business because we get to hear how it's helping people in their lives. They actually come to tears and say, I had no idea that's what birds sounded like or I haven't heard that since I was a child. And it just gives you goosebumps because it's, it's helping people and it's fun. And that's going to wrap up this edition of Sterling Report. Till next time, take care.